In the coming days, the Environment Committee in the European Parliament will vote on its amendments to the draft EU Packaging and Packaging Waste Regulation, or as we like to call it in Brussels, the PPWR. This is a crucial piece of legislation for the European Green Deal, for industry and for consumers, as it will, for example, shape the future of beverage packaging by setting rules on how to reuse and refill packaging. The discussions regarding the reuse and refill targets have been extremely controversial. We are focused on making this piece of legislation more realistic and pragmatic while keeping a high level of ambition. Therefore, we have three main asks. One, don't increase the reuse and refill targets for 2030 and 2040 without a proper impact assessment. Yes, reusable packaging has a role to play in reducing packaging and packaging waste in Europe. But it is crucial to assess the implications of scaling up reusable systems across the EU. Now, the European Commission's impact assessment, as we all know, has been heavily criticized by many stakeholders, including members of the European Parliament. We are therefore very concerned by proposals to increase these targets without a new and better impact assessment to justify them. This is the perfect recipe to a bad regulation. Two, maintain systems enabling refill in the reuse and refill targets. We no longer live in a world where there is only one way to reuse or refill our beverage packaging. Today, consumers can use different solutions that are innovative and that are helping reduce packaging because they use little to no packaging. That's the case of home soda dispensers and refill stations in stores and Oreca, for example. To promote innovation in this field, the reuse and refill targets should be attainable via the full scope of available solutions, including systems enabling refill. So let's be innovation friendly and regulate for the future, not for the past. Three, support well-designed exemptions to ensure reusable packaging is only introduced where and when it makes the most sense. As recognized by the Parliament's ETRE committee, reusable and refillable solutions won't bring environmental benefits in all situations and for all packaging. It's therefore key to provide some form of exemption if certain environmental waste management criteria are met. This is to avoid unintended adverse effects of the targets on existing well-functioning circular systems and also to ensure the complementarity of reusable, refillable and recycling systems. Let's make the PPWR pragmatic and ensure it respects every local situation.